it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing a hair color product. I purchased this from Sally's. It was not sent me or anything like that. It's just a personal review of a product that I picked up. Um, it is the Beyond the Zone Rock On Leave-In Semi-Permanent Color Spray. Mouthful. Um, I got this at Sally's. It retails for $4.99 and you get 4.22 fluid ounces or 125 milliliters, which I think is like a decent price for this amount, like this bottle. $4.99. It comes in four colors. The color I have is Purple Prelude. It also comes in Wild Red, Blue Horizon, and Raspberry Kamikaze, which is a red, blue, and like bright pink color. Um, this one is a deep, rich purple. Why I picked it up was because when you have a fantasy hair color, it is hard to keep your roots especially looking fresh for a very long time. Not to mention like your whole head looking fresh because if you wash it often, which you shouldn't, you should just go through massive amounts of dry shampoo. But when you're washing it and a lot of people just concentrate on the scalp when they're washing their hair, you know, you tend to have these like faded spots and it just kind of looks dull and not like that great. Um, I've used a lot of Beyond the Zone products. I love their styling products. I've tried their colors before. Not as impressed. So I am interested to see how this works. It is cruelty free, vegan, and paraben free if you are concerned with any of those things. Uh, so I am freshly showered, towel dried hair, fresh face, no makeup. This is how we're doing this. I also probably should be wearing gloves. However, I don't have any right now. Need to make a trip to the Dollar Tree. So, it says instructions. Working in sections, spray on clean, towel dried hair. For best results, hold spray two inches from hair to avoid colors bleeding on other sections. Comb through to ensure product is evenly distributed. Do not rinse to achieve more vibrant color. Simply spray more product. Style as normal. Use only for maintenance to keep desired color and tone. Do not apply on the same day of highlights. Highly porous hair might absorb excess pigmentation. So as I said, a maintenance product, which is great. I need a comb. And why I'm so like for maintenance products, like the L'Oreal Colorista sprays, the Beyond the Zone leave-in spray, which we're going to review today. Like why I'm so big onto the maintenance colors is because I feel like a lot of people are like, yeah, I'm going to go get pink hair, I'm going to get blue hair, I'm going to get purple hair. It's going to be great and it's going to look great. And it does look great for about a week. And then everybody gets really upset and it washes out and it turns to like this gross gray color before they can get it done again or before they switch back to blonde or brown or something like that. And so there are products out there for fantasy color maintenance. Since I'm not doing just like one section and I'm doing like my whole rootage area, I'm not too worried about like the color bleeding like in the instructions it said to avoid colors bleeding on other sections. I assume that would be if you're working with multiple colors or if you only have like one section of hair. My whole head is purple so I'm not too concerned. So we're just gonna take my hair. It is freshly washed, towel dried as I said before. We're gonna take it and spray it. Oh, oh, oh that's... Oh it kind of smells like hairspray. Oh I'm also getting it everywhere. I should probably be wearing a cape. So I'm just going to do my roots and like bring it down a little bit. I don't need it to be crazy a lot because I'm just trying to like touch it up slash refresh. Definitely, definitely should be wearing gloves for this. It's not getting on my hands really, it's getting on my nails.
I just feel like gloves might be the best option. It smells really good. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I got it on my finger. Oh, well. Such is life. Such is life. Oh. <laughs> and I got it on my neck. Again, I should probably be wearing a cape for this. So, initial thoughts are I really like the color. I like the scent. The sprayer is really nice. That is very important, importante, when dealing with these types of products. This is probably the easiest solution in terms of fantasy hair color maintenance that I've seen out there in the world. Because let's be honest here, nobody really wants to take the time to maintain a hair color even if it's not a fantasy hair color. I got purple on my background. Oh no. <laughs> All right, applied. Now we're going to blow dry the hair um, just to dry and style it to see how it kind of looks dried. Although, again, not disappointed with how it applied. Super simple, super easy. The color is really, really nice. While I'm drying my hair, I'll tell you this. The only thing that I'll say is that I did get some spray on my little bookcase shelf behind me as well as my table, my ears, and my forehead. Um, so be mindful to wear gloves, tape, be in a space that you do not care about. Um, I will talk more at the end about how this cleans up um, because I don't know currently at the moment. Uh, so yeah, let me finish drying my hair and styling my hair and we will be back for finished final thoughts. Okay, so here is my hair dried and styled. As you can see, my roots are like a nice dark purple. Um, they aren't like solid, like if I were have my hair like freshly colored. Um, so there is a little bit of like different tones poking through and things like that. That's also because I feel like I did not saturate the hair as well as I probably could have if I were using gloves because um, you do get like a little bit of staining. I did clean the back situation. It did come off with just some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel, however, I did not let it sit for very long. So again, to clean up, make sure you are cleaning up immediately. I feel like if it were too dry and then I would try and clean it up later, it would have stained. I also washed my hands almost immediately and it came off except for my nails, which is to be expected. So use gloves. Um, I am very happy with this situation. It feels very soft. It does not feel like crunchy like those leave it, uh, not leave in sprays, those like one day sprays like the L'Oreal Colorista. Those are more like color depositing dry shampoos that you have to wash out or that will wash out. This one again stays in your hair like a semi-permanent color just like it says. Um, it does not transfer on your hands or anything like that once you are done blow drying and styling it. Um, I am curious to see how long the semi-permanent part of this spray is. It does not say online, um, but I will be interested. I do think that in terms of root top chops, color maintenance, even if you just do like a block or your bangs or anything like that, if you are looking for, I mean they only offer four colors, red, blue, purple, and pink. Um, however, I mean, that's a lot in terms of this. 
<clears throat> if you're looking for like color maintenance that is easy and quick and something that you can do like right out of the shower, this I feel like is a great buy for $4.99. Um, if you're looking for something to kind of like add color that won't stay in your hair, the L'Oreal Colorista sprays are where it's at because those wash out after a day or two. It depends on your hair porosity, if you will. But um, for color maintenance that I can like touch that isn't going to transfer, that's going to leave my color looking vibrant, this is definitely where it's at. The only cons is that the spray does kind of get everywhere. So again, make sure you're wearing a cape, make sure that you are uh, wearing protective gloves, make sure if you are doing it in an area in which you care about, you are laying down plastic or something so that you can have an easy cleanup or do it in the bathroom so that you can just whoop, wipe it up right after you're done. But there is no washing out after you spray this in, there is no anything. You just spray it on towel dried hair, dry, style. I'd have to say, I'm here for it. For $4.99, absolutely. This bottle's going to last me a long time. So, Career Rose Beauty approved. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but if you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. I will list this product in the description box below so you can check it out on your own time if you are interested. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on another review or tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, guys.